here we go. Hey everybody, it's me, Stuart. Today we're going to be reading a story called Mighty Miracles. It's about Moses from the Bible. All right, well, let's see what happens. Here we go. This is a story of how a great sea was parted and of how God rescued his people. Years after Joseph died, another pharaoh ruled over Egypt. He didn't know about Joseph or all that he had done for Egypt. This pharaoh saw that his land was filled with Joseph's people, the Israelites, or Hebrews. He was afraid they would help Egypt's enemies, so he made them his slaves. Then he commanded a most terrible command. Every Israelite baby boy must be thrown into the Nile River. Oh no, that's not good. But Joshebed just couldn't throw her baby boy into the river. For three months, she kept him a secret. When he grew too big to hide, she tucked him in a basket and nestled it into the reeds by the river. Miriam, the baby's sister, hid nearby to watch over him. Oh no, that's, that's scary too. Hope he's going to be alright. The basket was soon found by Pharaoh's own daughter. When she saw the crying baby, she felt sorry for him. Miriam ran to her. Should I get an Israelite woman to care for him? She asked. Pharaoh's daughter agreed, and Miriam hurried to get the baby's own mother. When the boy grew older, Josebed brought him to Pharaoh's daughter. He became her son, and she named him Moses. Years later, Moses saw an Egyptian beating an Israelite slave. He was so angry that he killed the Egyptian. But Pharaoh found out and tried to kill Moses. Moses ran away and became a shepherd of Midian. When Pharaoh finally died, another Pharaoh took his place. But life was still terrible for the Israelites. They cried out to God for help, and he heard them. One day, Moses was out tending to the sheep when he saw something strange. A bush was on fire, and it didn't burn up. Suddenly, God spoke from the bush. Moses, I'm sending you to lead my people out of Egypt. But Moses didn't want to go. I'm not good at speaking, he said. Please send someone else. God became angry, but he said, Aaron, your brother, will meet you. He'll speak for you. Wow, a burning bush. That's crazy. Moses traveled back to Egypt. Together, he and Aaron went to Pharaoh and said, Yahweh, the God of Israel, says, Let my people go. But Pharaoh said, Who is Yahweh, and why should I obey him? I will not let Israel go. God sent Moses and Aaron down to the Nile River. When you see Pharaoh by the river, strike the water with your staff. When the staff struck the river, the water turned to blood. All the fish died, and the water smelled so bad that no one could drink it. Still, Pharaoh would not let God's people go. Turn the river into blood? Wow, that's crazy too. So God made frogs swarm up out of the Nile. They hopped into the palace, into Pharaoh's bedroom, and right up onto his bed. They croaked from every oven, bow, and pot in Egypt. But Pharaoh still would not let God's people go. So God sent more plagues. He turned the dust of the earth into biting, stinging gnats. Then swarms of flies filled every house. Animals died, and the people were covered with painful sores. Hail beat down crops and shattered trees. Swirling clouds of locusts ate every last plant. Then three days of thick, black darkness covered all Egypt. Only the Israelites had light. Still, Pharaoh would not let God's people go. Wow, after all that, I'd, I'd be letting them go. What are we doing, Pharaoh? It's a lot going on there. Then God sent one last plague, the most terrible one of all. But he told Moses how to keep the Israelites safe. Sacrifice a sheep or a goat and paint your doorpost with its blood, Moses said. When God sees the blood, he'll pass over your house and you'll be safe. At midnight, the Lord struck down every firstborn son in Egypt, from Pharaoh's son to the lowliest prisoner's son. A great cry of sadness was heard throughout Egypt. Go, Pharaoh shouted at Moses and Aaron. Take your people and your animals and go. The Israelites hurried to leave Egypt. God led them toward the Red Sea, guiding them with a pillar of cloud by day 
and a pillar of fire by night. Wow, that's pretty cool. But when Pharaoh saw that his slaves were gone, he changed his mind. Bring the chariots, he ordered. Then he and his entire army chased after the Israelites. The Israelites saw them coming and were terrified. But Moses said, Don't be afraid. God will fight for you. Then he stretched out his hand over the Red Sea. God sent a powerful wind that drove the sea back, and the Israelites walked across on dry ground. The Egyptians chased them into the sea, but God made their chariots swerve and crash. Moses stretched out his hand again, and God sent the waters rushing back. Pharaoh's entire army was swept into the sea. God's people were saved. Yeah! God used mighty miracles to rescue his people from slavery to Egypt. Many years later, Jesus used mighty miracles to show that he truly was the Son of God and had come to rescue his people from slavery to sin. Sin will not rule over you because you were not under law, but under grace. Romans 6, 14. Yeah. The end. Wow. That was a fun story. At first, when Moses was a baby, Pharaoh ordered all the male babies to be killed, to be thrown into the Nile. But his mom saved him, Pharaoh's daughter found him, and he became part of the Egyptian family. And his own mama got to raise him. That's pretty cool. And then Moses killed a guy because he was beating up an Israelite. And then God called him. He came back to Egypt to save his people, and after a couple plagues, Pharaoh finally let his people go. And when they were leaving, Pharaoh changed his mind and went after them. And then God helped them again and helped him cross the sea to safety. Yeah. Wow, that was a good story. Don't forget, God will always take care of you. Alright, well thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos. See ya! Thanks for watching. See you next time.